also remind you that Buzzwoods is on tonight at the Exmouth Arms with our guest, Pat Baldwith, who's here. Mm -hmm. Ronan. She returns from the sea with a boy child, sand coloured, quartz eyed. She names him, plants their home in the centre of the land. She dresses him in brown and green, guides his front soft fingers to push seeds into earth, rocks him from his back forth rushing with stories of mountains and plains of high, dry places. She banishes waves from the house, changes his alphabet, fish to fowl, shark to sheep. His hair floats around his head, Catches the sun in winks of light, won't stay down when she brushes it. She strokes oil on his skin where it cracks, dry, tutors the sibilance from his speech. She can't meet his pebble gaze when he salts his drink of water. That, as you can tell, is something of a myth. The trouble is I don't know what myth it is because it arrived almost fully formed, one of those very rare gift poems that we get, not often enough. So it's a favourite of mine just because of that. Ronan, the title, by the way, is Irish for Little Seal. And I read that at a festival a couple of years ago, and then somebody said, but I really want to know what happens to him. And because I didn't know the story it came from, I couldn't tell, so I had to write the poem to find <coughs> out what happened to him. <coughs> Become a man, he leaves the dry plain, finds a spring, a brook, a river. He follows the current, wading hip deep. His skin tingles and shrinks against his flesh. Bending to wet his head, he opens his eyes underwater, tastes the greening of his sight as remembrance. Near the coast, the salt scent wakes old secrets, stirs old yearnings. He runs over rocks, stumbles, throws himself into the shock of sea where his legs kick together, power him into breakers that roar in celebration. He laughs and tumbles in the waves, plunges down to riffled sand, spins up to a dome of light. Front soft fingers catch at his limbs, whispers bubble in his ears, silver shapes dart at the edge of vision. Sure he is home, he takes a breath, chokes, breaks the surface, to gasp and cough, feels them leave. From the berm, he watches empty waves. <laughs> 